Salutations! I am very often requested to make a video showing the different ways in which I wear my hair. And so far I have resisted most of the temptation to show that because I felt that the video would either be too short or too boring, most likely both. But it's been requested enough times now, I think that there are enough people that really want to see this, so I will demonstrate my various styles. Style 1, dreadlocks down, very natural, very relaxed. Style 2, dreadlocks up, very functional, very work-like. And there we go, the different styles of lazy dreads. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, that's what I meant by short and boring. Um, people will often ask, and hence this video, they will ask, how do you wear your dreadlocks? And I will reply, either up or down. And I don't know whether people think I'm being, I don't know, attempting to be funny or just generally rude, but it's true, that is how I wear my hair. There's a little bit more to it than up or down, but that's the general gist. I don't have any sort of really pretty updos that you see people posting, I'm just, yeah, <laughs> lazy. Okay, so whenever I go out, I always have a headband to hand, so either a thick one, uh, like this, it stretches out a bit, thick one like this, or a thin one like this, or sometimes like today, I will have both. Um, people will ask where these come from, in case there's some sort of special dreadlock headband, and they're not. <laughs> they don't come from a special store, they come from girls stores. These are from, I think, Accessorize, or Claire's Accessories. Trust me, they love it when I go in there, and all the little girls are buying cute little things, and I just come in looking like the Swamp Monster from Scooby-Doo, uh, but I have lots of these, and I will either buy them myself, or my girlfriend will buy them, and then I will use them and stretch them so she can't use them anymore, and then they become mine. So I showed either down, which is very creative, or up, um, but Sometimes, sometimes, I will not have a headband, or sometimes I feel like being slightly fancy, and I will tie my dreadlocks back with other dreadlocks, which I think is great, a great feature of dreadlocks. Because you can take the dreadlocks, provided they're long enough, if you have young, short dreadlocks, you can't really do it, but uh, provided they're long enough, you can scoop them back, and I will take two longish ones from either side, and if your dreadlocks aren't super long, you can just take them over the top and uh, tie a knot like this. So you take them from either side, take the dreadlocks over and tie them like that. And there you go, the dreadlocks have tied themselves back. But if you have longer dreadlocks like myself, you can take them, scoop them over the top and go like this. So you've twisted it and then you tie it underneath. And I will tie it again because otherwise it will just come straight undone. And that's how I can tie dreadlocks back with themselves. So. I like that. It's, that's about as fancy as my dreadlocks get. I know that you will see different demonstrations of people where they get their dreadlocks to look fantastic and all these different braids and twists and they look like elves from the forests on the far side of the moon and it looks fantastic, but I have generally failed in all my attempts to get my dreadlocks to look like that. I don't want to say it's a guy thing, because I'm sure there are guys that can do it, but I come out very stereotypical guy when I try to do it. Like, I can't do it, my fingers are made of jelly. It's a girl thing. I've tried, I've tried to follow various tutorials that are out there. So she's taking a bunch from the back. Oh no, she's scooping this, and then she's taking a bunch from the back and it's getting twisted up. And then this bit comes up. I, I, don't, I don't think mine looks like hers. I, it's it's not, not come out quite, quite, quite right. So other people's come out all pretty and I'm sat here looking like pineapple. <laughs> it's not my hair, I've had other people do really pretty things with my hair, but every time I do it, it fails. If I get someone to volunteer to come and make my hair pretty, I will show that and pretend that I've done it myself, but I'm all, I can't do it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Either up, down, somewhere in between. Sometimes I wear a hat, but nothing too fancy and nothing that is really all that showy offy. If you have a cool demonstration of a showy offy, not, 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 I don't mean that in a negative way, but a pretty way to, to tie up dreadlocks or show off dreadlocks, you can feel free to share your videos or pictures or whatever in, in the comment section below and I will look in awe and jealousy at what you are able to create. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, useful, fun, entertaining, informative, you can click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from myself in the future, you can of course subscribe. If you're looking for dreadlocks, tips, help, guide, advice, anything 
dreadlock information related you can find all my stuff on lacedress.com. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Farewell!